All right, this next part's really cool. Here's where we're gonna start to do some remote control stuff that also is gonna save us a lot of time. First thing to remember, we created all the C panels, right? These are the underlying panels that allow us to install software, you know, namely templates to these websites so that they become websites. So far, what do we have? A domain name connected to a C panel on our server. And we have a lot of them, a lot of domain names, each connected to a C panel on our server. Is there anything there? No, it's empty. It's just got a CGI bin folder, which doesn't mean anything. It's just a default folder. So there's nothing here yet. There is nothing installed. There's no HTTPS certificate. Um, there's no subdomain control, nothing. Okay. So one thing we need to do is go into here and install software would be what you would normally do. How would it look usually, right? You go here, all your files are in the file manager normally. So you go there and then you're going to go to the public HTML folder, which is where, you know, all the pages that people see are kept nothing here. So what would you upload? You would upload a zip file and extract it, and that puts all the files in here. Okay, is that enough for your website? No, because <laughs> you have to do more things. But I'll get to that later, because you would also have to go back, and you would also have to create a database, right? As a matter of fact, let me just point out real quick. You'd have to come up with a name for it that goes along with the prefix. Then you'd have to um, also create a user with a password, then you have to attach the user to the database with full permissions. Then you have to grab all that data <laughs> and paste it into your files. So, well, well, actually you would edit a certain file in here that connects the files on the front end to the database on the back. Hard. Everyone does it. It is the industry standard. If you go to ThemeForest and buy a website, you'll download it to your computer. Then you have to extract it. Find the README instructions, open them, and read the instructions, and it will tell you how to do this. Exactly. It will tell you to do these steps, right, to install the website. Okay? Isn't that a pain? That's why we created Website Installer. Same guys, Theme Forest template could be on here. It could be in this category somewhere, right? And when the guy goes and selects it, and he goes to buy it, it will just install immediately right to the server and all those steps are done automatically. Now again, when you're getting the $2,500 version and you have a server to work with, what's that mean? You want that level of control to be easy for you. Okay, so we're getting there. That is the steps we're leading up to. But right now, we have a couple of steps to do and one of them is this. We need to let software installer know that even though we set up the C panels, it doesn't know if we want to manipulate them or if it was a one-time shot for somebody else. So we actually want to add those C panels to our website list. That means I have a bunch of websites in here already, right? Like 141 off the server. Although I don't have all of them in here because I'm not working with all of them at the same time. But I do want to add a new website. Now, if I were adding it manually one at a time, I do it this way. Am I adding a C panel? Or am I adding a server? In which case the username is root, et cetera, et cetera. Nope, 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 I'm adding a cPanel. Okay, piece of cake. So what's the domain name, the username, and the password? Well, that's pretty easy. Domain name, username, password, right? So I would add them one at a time so that software installer can connect to them. But we don't wanna do this one at a time, do we? No, we wanna do this in mass. So what do we do? We're doing the next section called add to my website list. Okay, so these are the same things, the same server username and password, but you can see it's the domain name, the username and the password. The only other column that's new is this one to tell it whether it's a cPanel or a WHM panel. We type in cPanel once, we drag it down, all of them become cPanel. We just drag to the bottom, right? So that's easy. <clears throat> so how do we add it? <laughs> that's easy. My website list, let's do this right, batch upload. There you go, it's the box, right? Again, include the header. I'm gonna shift click from one end to the other. Okay, control C. And yep, I got my header and I got all my columns, right? I didn't miss any. And I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna paste, I'm gonna process, and add the servers. Psh. Are you sure you wanna add them? Yeah. 
Look at this. Nice and fast is going through that list quick, right? Because this is just adding our servers in the software installer. What do you think it's doing? Checking the connections, making sure it can access these websites. And it did. See that? It was able to access all of them. No problems with any of them. So I'm going to close. Now I've got all those things up in here. They're all usable inside my system. Okay. So now what can we do? Well, we could start installing the websites, but before we do it, we're going to do an item of maintenance that we want to do. Okay. And that's called creating wildcard subdomains. This allows us to make tons of subdomains on our websites. That's this page here. Making those subdomains on our websites means that we can auto-generate um, subdomains for anything we want, for any geo-targeted keyword combinations we want, for any industry, for anything, and they're all going to be HTTPS enabled. Well, we'll get to the HTTPS part. That's separate, but first we have to create the subdomain. Let me show you the industry standard, and then we'll compare it to how we're going to do it. Industry standard. You would do this, you come back out, you're in your cPanel for one of the websites. You're gonna click subdomains. So I had to go into the cPanel, then I had to go into the, the uh, subdomain section, and I'm gonna create an asterisk. It's a wild card, it means anything goes. It's asterisk dot the website. And where's it gonna point? I'm gonna click off. Now, I don't want it to point there, so I'm just going to put a slash to say just stay in the document root, which it'll understand. I click off of that, and I'll hit create, and it'll take a few seconds. <laughs> then what do I do? I leave the cPanel, go into the next cPanel, and do this. Yes, this is the industry standard. Nobody has automation tools for this. There might be a few that exist, but they're homemade. People don't usually find these things available online. There might be a few today, I haven't looked in a long time, but when we created it, it's because we couldn't find any, <laughs> not any. All right, having said that, how do we do it? I'll show you. Okay, I'm gonna copy, What what is this? This is just a list of the domain names, and then we pasted it here, and then we just said subdomain, you know, asterisk, so we just dragged it down, right, to the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna shift select the entire thing, you guessed it with the headers, make sure I get it all. WAP, come here and go to um, Batch Subdomains Installer. That's really what that is. So that's the idea. Subdomain Batch Installation. I'm gonna install those. Process, okay? And if somebody were doing it manually, you know, and they had to wait, you're probably talking about three per minute. How fast can we do this? Well, first of all, you know what's great about this? I'm not logging in and logging out and going through a list and checking which domain to go to next in a list and manually doing this, am I? Now, do I even need to babysit this page? No, it's going to give me a result anyway, okay? If there's an error, it'll tell me there's an error. So I could put this at the bottom like that, and I can leave. I can go get coffee. I can have lunch. I don't need to be here, <laughs> The only reason I'm still here is it takes so little time to get the step done that I may as well wait for the next step. You know, get something that'll take longer running before I bother to go. <laughs> like biggest steps, or if you're doing this on thousands of sites, may as well let it run all night while you sleep. Can you imagine that? How much work did you really do? How much work, though, do you get to charge for? Right? Anytime you're setting up websites for people and you're talking about the regular work it takes to get the thing going, right? The name of the game is that automation is how you compete at the highest level, right? If I were to pay someone to do this, again, if they're doing if they're busting a sweat and doing three a minute, okay, they're working for half an hour, and I'd better give them a break after that because the guy's gonna be hypnotized and exhausted from his motions and sweaty, breathing hard, and wanting definitely to take a break. But in my case, I took a break during the work and nobody broke a sweat. This isn't hard, this is simple, right? So there you go. What am I, a little more than halfway done?
Isn't that crazy? I don't know how long it's taking each. I guess, what, four or five seconds instead of 20? So I'm going like five times faster. But again, it's not just about going five times faster. It's that I get to walk away. If I have more than one computer in this room, which I do, I could have one computer doing this while I'm doing something else. You get it? There are a lot, I mean, I can literally flip to other tabs anyway and just start doing other things anyway, okay? Whatever, I can, I can check things out. I can watch a movie if I want. It doesn't matter. I just wait. So there you go. That's how cool this is. All right, I may as well hit pause at this point. You get the point. It's just going to be a handful of seconds more. It's 2.23 right now. <laughs> yeah, I did go get coffee, by the way. <laughs> it's 2.24. Uh, process is completed successfully. This is done. Now, if I'm, if I'm just to double check the work, I'll do this. I'm going to randomly choose any one of those uh, garage door websites, right? Go to subdomains. Sure enough, this thing exists, and it's pointing at exactly the right place, and no one busted a sweat. There you go. These tools make you rich because they make you competitive with a whole team of website guys working together in a company, spending hours and sweating away at it and making mistakes. You don't make mistakes doing things this way. You don't need a force of people. You don't need an army of guys pounding away to get this work done. It just happens really fast and efficiently, whether you're paying attention to it or not. That's the point. 